All right. Good evening, everyone. It's the second hour. It's 7 o'clock, and you know what that means, live band performance. And I have the pleasure of having King Norman with me. How you doing, gentlemen? Speaking to the microphone. Oh, great. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having you. Glad to be here. You're very welcome. My pleasure. All right. So why don't we uh, waste no more time? What would you like to start out with? So we are going to start with a song, which... We don't even have an official title yet. Kind of a mysterious song. but we Untitled. Untitled. Well, we call it Surf Rock. Okay. It's a working title. That's a good way to start. Yeah. I'm not sure if it is. <laughs> to be determined all right <laughs> okay what we usually do after the first song we go around the room we introduce ourselves and this will help me too so i can remember names we'll start out with you sir i'm jason torres on the basis of king norman i am neil and i sing <laughs> i think i do <laughs> <laughs> i'm john and i play guitar all right carl also known as keys on the drums all right, so Jason, Neil, John, John and <laughs> Kyle. So I told you, man, it, it, yeah. it catches up to you, you know, like 10 years ago, we went like, yeah, my brain's still great. And now it's like, oh, fuck, I'm paying for that, those 70s. <laughs> anyway, we got an hour almost of great music, and uh, why don't we get started with another one? My heart's an ancient ruin, crystallizing 
So where did the name come from? King Norman. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that because I don't know. <laughs> We're going to leave that up to John, are we? Yeah, no, it was originally just a name for a song. Mm -hmm. And uh, it didn't really mean a whole lot necessarily other than just we liked the way it sounded. Hmm. And yeah, more or less it just stuck. Didn't come from any source? It just kind of pop, uh, pop, popped I've up? It was somewhere on the internet um, and they were just describing just like a normal person. Mm -hmm. And they're just, I don't know, and they called him King of the Norman. So I just thought that was sort of like an interesting, like, turn of phrase, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, and then we just kind of ran with it. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard a lot of bands say that. You know, sometimes it's like an exact source. Sometimes it has a story a mile long. And other times it's like, I just saw that. It looked cool. More yeah. or less. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's about it. Yeah. How long have you guys been together? Almost What's coming up on two years, yeah. Okay. All right. With Neil? Yeah, coming up on, it's, I think it's, it's, it's right at two years for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. for, for us and then... And then Neil came a little bit after. Yeah. A couple Probably months. a year and a half with me involved. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you found him wandering the streets and he said, hey, can you <laughs> yeah. sing for us? They, they, kinda, they clothed me and fed me. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Facebook group we found him on. Yeah. Ah, okay. You felt sorry for him. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. You want to sing for us? <laughs> oh, he felt sorry for us. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it goes two ways. Yeah, both yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of sympathy you have to go around. <laughs> I pity everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why you get along. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't we do another one? Uh, T-Boys, I believe. Cool. I just heard about you guys um, from Rob Zink. Yeah. yeah. But I won't hold that against you, okay? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> yeah, we just played a show with them uh, about two weeks ago at Trixie's in Hamtramck. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we just met them for the first time then. Isn't it amazing how things just kind of like, yeah. you know, yeah. happen thing, that way? One thing after another, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you just <laughs> try to uh, show up as many places as you can, and it happens. Huh? That's what it's all about, yeah. yeah. That's what I always tell people. 
Half of the job is showing up. Right. <laughs> exactly. The other half is slacking off. <laughs> or at least being able to fake that you know what you're doing. Yeah. 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 That's the key. <laughs> Total imposter syndrome. So. so, how did you like Trixie's? I like it. Just curious, you know. Yeah, way way nicer than uh, than like some people had described. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. It's a dive, but it was fun. It, 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 it was really nice though. I thought it was but nice it was in there. Yeah. It depends on your standards, you know. I I know that uh, when people play like a lot of the places on the east side. You know, in comparison, those places are kind of nice. I, I don't mean like posh, but. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. But when you make it here more closer to Detroit and Hamtramck, then you realize, no, these are the old school bars. This is where it all started. Yep. You know, if you're looking for a perfect bathroom or something like that, oh, well, no. you got to go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want a perfect bathroom. Uh, <laughs> but a cool place to, to play a show, then, you know, yeah. you're talking. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, really cool opportunities. And what, we have a show at uh, New Dodge coming up, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. March 8th. Huh, March 8th. talk about that then. March 8th at uh, New Dodge and Hamtramck, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, uh, who are you playing with? I think that we, are we, do you want to, are we doing it all? Are we, uh... There's like got, four in the lineup right now. Yeah. Well, no, but not, uh, not a ton of release. Okay, so yeah. just three now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Three, yeah. So we, uh... We had a couple situations where we had uh, bands lined up, and then they ended up not being able to make it. So we reached out to a Facebook group, and uh, we got two bands. Um, what is it? Horrors in the morning. Or Horror something? movies in the morning. Okay. And breakfast at 2 p.m. No shit. Yeah. Ah, uh, I I uh, booked a horror um, not too long ago, and then 2 p.m. is playing for me in April. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, I nice. know both those bands. Oh, okay. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's crazy how the universe works. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. But I know that whole thing about you, a show is all set to go, and then all of a sudden it gets halfway there. Oh, wait a minute. You know, I forgot about something. Yeah. Uh, next yeah. thing you know, you got to start over again practically. <laughs> yep. But that's the rock and roll biz. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Why don't we do another one? <laughs> another working title. Yeah. Another working title.
another WTF do you call it song. <laughs> we originally called it Zombie because apparently there was Rob Zombie influence. Oh. I don't know if you could hear it. I don't listen a little, to it. I think it was more so the beginning. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think it was, it was White Zombie. Oh, White yeah, Zombie. Uh, <laughs> now we're going back a ways. Okay. It's all cool. It's, as long as the song is good, the music is good, it doesn't matter. I, I know uh, this one band, they've been on here a couple of times, The Hourlies. They actually give their titles to most of their songs, but they'll still announce it as something completely different. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, this next song is Stairway to Heaven. You know? <laughs> they'll just nice. rip into their song. You know? <laughs> That's actually the other band we played with, with Rob Zink, was The Hourlies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great guys. Yeah. Great yeah. guys. Yeah. They are good. They are yeah. good. That was a fun time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He can scream a lot better than me, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing a little bit longer, you know. <laughs> you'll get there. Yeah. Actually, after you get married, you'll definitely get there. <laughs> Unless you are already. <laughs> no, it probably won't happen. He's <laughs> making a guess. Educated guess. Smart man. <laughs> It'll get in the way of your music anyway. I mean, it might influence it in a bad way or a good way. A lot of... Tragic songs will come out of that, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right skater. So, skater. skater Rock? Skater Rock, another working title. Working Once title. Again, huh? WTF. Yeah. Mm. Skater Rock. Yeah, this fun fact about the song is actually uh, when I first met Johnny, mm-hmm. he ripped off this um, crazy bluesy Hendrixy riff, mm-hmm. and then I just kind of like flowed it, added a little punk in it, and it's kind of like what me and Johnny wrote for the first time, yeah. so it's kind of cool. Yeah, awesome. That's the history of it. Yeah. The the origin, the beginning. Because yeah, I'd, I had played with him in a previous uh, band that were just playing like the year before mm-hmm. we'd all gotten together, and I've played with him since I was like 19 in like different iterations and whatnot. Okay. So yeah, for a really long time. Yeah. yeah. And you finally settled on this. Yeah, yeah, no, this is, yeah. yeah, this is the best, yeah. Now that you made all those mistakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plenty more to come. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that'll never end. <laughs> all right, Skater Rock. <laughs> Concussions and nations of gold Pipelines of pipe dreams that turn into nightmares What can you do when you can't breathe the earth there? I'm running out, what's running out? I'm running low, oh, oh, oh. What's running out? I'm running, I'm empty, don't tell me I just might as well There's blood on your dollar bills On your dollar bills Blood on your dollar bills On your dollar bills And if you can see that Then you can see If you don't believe that Well, you better believe, yeah You better believe me You better believe You better believe So for our viewers slash listeners, um, where would somebody find your music, Gang Norman's music? 
Right now, it's uh, we've got three singles on uh, all the major streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've actually got a new singer, single, Boulder, coming out tomorrow. <laughs> a new <Nice>. singer. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they, they were going to break it to you gently, but they figured on live, <laughs> TV, <slipped> <laughs> on live TV, it's perfect. You're fired. <laughs> yeah. And the new one's coming in the door right now. No. <laughs> no uh, it's a new single, Boulder, uh, coming out tomorrow on every street, uh, streaming platform you can think of. Oh, um, nice. So we look for that tomorrow. Is there like an exact time or just? Uh, I think probably midnight tonight. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. Oh, so you could awesome. go home and have yeah. a couple drinks and yeah. check it out, man. Yeah. Heck yeah. Or smoke a couple doobies, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pop a couple tabs, you know. Yeah. We'll have some uh, content for that coming out uh, shortly after that releases. So. Okay. And the, the other singles and the rest of the stuff, same thing. So like Spotify, YouTube, the whole nine. Yeah, YouTube. Uh, we've got a couple in studio videos. Uh, well, in my basement, but uh, mm-hmm. in, uh, on YouTube, mm-hmm. um, we've got about what 13, 14 videos on YouTube right now. None, none like uh, real uh, full like music videos, but mostly yeah. live performances and stuff like that. That's what most people do because yeah. it's not cheap to make those. No, you know, if, you yeah, wanna do, if you want to do, if you want to do good. You know, and you're not exactly making wads of cash at performances, you know. So. Right. <laughs> Enough to cover the bar tab. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and maybe gas, I don't right. know, <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> All right, well, that's great. Any um, plans in the future as far as an actual physical release of any kind? Or or maybe even just something packaged as a digital, do you know what I mean? Where it's an actual title of a release and all the songs are yeah, contained? Yeah, we were kind of discussing an EP within the last couple of days. And uh, yeah, we'll probably put like a four or five track EP. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's the best way to go. A lot of bands, uh, going back to what we were mentioning earlier, the hourlies, that's how they do it basically, it's just EPs. Yeah, okay, it's cool. much easier and much more practical just to put like four songs together or mm-hmm. something like that yeah. rather than try to do like 13 like you're doing today yeah I you think know? We, we wanted to start off with something so a couple singles but like now we're to the point where like yeah releasing them in uh, bigger batches would be probably yeah. a better look you know Right, but not go overboard. Right, and, yeah. You don't yeah. want to bore anybody. You know? Nobody, nobody, wa- nobody wants to do an hour and 15 minutes of any band, no, no matter how great they are. Yeah. Nobody, nobody has that attention span anymore. They right. don't. Right. And what were we talking about? No, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why don't we do another? What do we got? Misdirection. Yep, okay, yeah, thank you. I got the list back here. None of us know up here. This is called Misdirection. You can find it on all the streaming sites. All of them. Can't see the fire between us. See the fire below. It torches all the cheetahs. We will not to kill the demons. Not to kill the small. Yeah. 
You know, I finally figured it out. It's been bugging me ever since you started. Um, I listen to your voice, and I'm like, damn, that sounds like somebody. I mean, somebody well-known, not, you know, just any singer, not a local band. Um, I mean, maybe I'm the only one. Maybe it's just the drugs I did when I was You're, in. you're not. But um, actually, I hear Clem Danzig. Oh. Yep. 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 Uh, uh, not a day goes by where I'm not told <laughs> that. But I'll take it. People, I mean, I love me some early misfits, so. Yeah, I mean, for the type of stuff you do, it's it's perfect, right? Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. I, well, that's what we, yeah. I mean, you, it, you fall into two categories. Either you have that amazing voice like Freddie Mercury or somebody like that, or you just have that really good rock and roll voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Which one do I have? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do that uh, Six Sweet Opera next, right? So we'll find out. <laughs> Bocelli. I can, do I can try it. <laughs> okay, so it's not just me, but that's yeah. cool. I mean, if you got to be compared to somebody, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. Between He's been doing push-ups, uh, too, to be like Glenn Danzig. <laughs> well, it. I don't know if I'd want to <laughs> be compared that way. but <laughs> I've been worshiping Satan, too, so I can be just like him. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm a very, I'm a, uh, uh, a method actor, one would say, uh, <laughs> of Glenn Danzig. <laughs> God, I saw him open up for Metallica back in the early 90s. That was a... Black Tour, I think it was, or oh, okay. uh, I think, you know, d don't quote me on that, but I know um, it was around that time, and he just looked like such a pompous ass by then. Oh, he okay. really did. Like, he was a diva. Like, he was full of himself. <laughs> you know how you could tell by somebody's body language, the way they walk around? Like, <laughs> right. Have you heard his me. Elvis? Have you heard his Elvis cover album? Yeah, yeah. It's painful, though. <laughs> to, to Offensive <laughs> to the ears. Really. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we tuned that little guitar there, you know. Yeah. So we're about at the halfway mark, so I think we're doing just perfect on time. Cool. Yeah, so. All right, what would you like to do now? Yeah, cycle, yeah. Yeah. This song's called Cycle. <laughs> Oh, 
so other than March 8th at New Dodge, anything else coming up? Any events? Any shows? Or this is it. That's it for <laughs> now. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I just oh. thought I'd I thought I'd uh, ask. Yeah. Um. Well, we first started uh, taking the shows more serious and felt like we were ready right when the fall began. And mm -hmm. then it was like, man, we can't get a gig to save our life. And then it was like, got one, got one. And we're kind of on a pace where we're doing one a month. Okay. And it was cool to get this because we didn't have anything for February. So. Nah. So, you know, at least we're trying to do at least one thing a month and, and try to squeeze more things in between that. Oh. And, you know, got to crawl before you walk and got to oh, yeah. do all that stuff. So uh, it's good. It's good. So which one of you arranged to give Rob COVID then? Why? Oh, that's what happened? Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got COVID. That's oh. Mm -hmm. I think we all might have it because we were all at the same show. So. Yeah. Uh, nice. Well, I think he might have it by now because he he's been sick a while. He he already he got a hold of me like last weekend. He said, you know, I don't think I'm gonna make the show, and that's when he started figuring out like who could play, and that's when he got a hold of you guys. Oh, wow. He he so. sounded fantastic at the show he yeah. went to. Yeah, yeah, it was probably right after that because I I talked to him on the phone like, wow, you sound like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. And it uh, you know if you're just doing you know drums or you know guitar or bass, but if, right. you know it was one yeah. thing, but if you're singing. You know, it's especially on live TV. You know, right. this is your your big moment. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like not only do you sound like shit, you look like shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm under a heat lamp, by the way. Yeah. I like it. I kind of like it. It makes me look sweaty shorts. and cool. Yeah, most people are okay when they start their uh, performance. By the time they're done, they're drenched. Yeah. You know? yeah. Even in the winter time. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of look like a drunk Papa John. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we wish him well. At last I heard he was doing all right. Oh, but that's, that's, good. that's good. But he's a great guy, and he's, yeah. he's helping me with a lot of things. So, All right. What would we like to do now? Cool. Actually, we have a real title. Uh, oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Desert Snow. This is a song I kind of wrote beforehand i have it on spotify on my uh my spotify under neil zorhoff but we definitely changed it quite a bit so <laughs> cool
<laughs> so what else can we talk about? Hmm. So uh, how did you guys meet? Like you said, uh, you've been playing with Jason a while. You've been playing with Kyle a while. and Yeah, yeah. I w- had worked with Kyle uh, when, again, a long time ago. Uh, what? Well, you said before we were even 21, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was like three, four years ago? Yeah, maybe? yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about like that. Oh, yeah, what yeah, was that? Yeah. It was about 2006, I think, yeah. is when I met, I met you for the first time. Yep. Wow. Yep. And then, yeah, we, we started jamming pretty early on. Uh, we had a band with two other friends. Uh, so, and even like through the years, I would say, uh, like afterwards, we still like we keep in contact and still mm-hmm. like play. Just even the two of us sometimes. Yeah. And uh, just a jam, just yeah. to have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we kind of mm-hmm. kept us like close, I think, through yeah. the years, man. And then with Jay, I, I started playing with him and another buddy r- around 2001. Around 2001, yeah. Yeah. Like that yeah. summer. Yeah. 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 Or 2001. I'm sorry, 2021. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. a little bit later than 2001. Yeah, 2001. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're really, yeah, we should be tighter. Uh, but no, <laughs> we played for 20 years. Um, no, but yeah, uh, that was a solid year of of us playing together before. Mm-hmm. And they found me from the Facebook Musical Orphans page. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> adopted me, really. Is that what it's actually called? Or <laughs> no, it should be one. Yeah, and that's a way better title for it, whatever it is. Yeah. Please adopt me. That's you, pretty much you do what the, it's like. Him. You do those sad puppy eyes. and <laughs> They fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're gullible. So <laughs> <laughs> He's only the second other, uh, second singer we had audition. The, the, the first guy we liked, too, but he couldn't commit. So, and then... He was our second option, and we're like, yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not going anywhere else. Well, a lot of times that's what it is about. I've talked to many musicians over the day. I, had, I even auditioned, this is like a long time ago for a band, and they said, we're not looking for somebody that's exactly like us, just somebody that will commit, somebody yeah. that will show up yeah. and actually practice and be there, you know, because yep. yeah. it's amazing how hard it is sometimes, you know. Yeah. Pe- people can be awesome. It's like, wow, he's, he's awesome, he's awesome, or she's awesome. Fuck, he's, he called in again, you know? He's yeah. not going to make it. Right. <laughs> I'd say the two biggest things are showing up and getting along with the person. Well, yeah, that, yeah. Like, that too, because you're, you're almost like a, a large married couple when it comes yeah. down to it. Yeah. You know, especially yeah. if you're going to do any kind of touring. Or of a any bunch of siblings. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that can be tricky too as <laughs> well, you know? But I find um, that I, I like bands, and I, f- I find they go farther when they not only do a variety of music, but you, you four of you, you, like, you stand out. You know, when you think about, like, the bigger bands that you, you know of, that you're into, you know, you can't mistake one for the other. Mm-hmm. You four look like, indi- like to- <laughs> we're not going to mistake. Right. In, in yeah. fact, it almost helps you remember, you know, you know the band with the, the, the tall drummer with the great hairdo, and, you know. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm 6'6", six, six, and he's taller than me, which is incredible. Well, you can't tell where he's at right you now, you know. Yeah. But you guys got to be over 6, right? Nah. I'm 6'6", six, six, he's about 6'7", six, seven, seven, six, seven, which is kind of Holy amazing. shit. Yeah, he's a gigantic, right? We're the, we're the short dudes. Six yeah. foot, the six yeah, foot we're dudes. Like six foot even. But yeah. Wow, I'm I'm a child compared to that, man. <laughs> Holy crap! I I stunted my growth with everything imaginable when I was growing up. So never made it past five four. You know? <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, makes me think of like um, some of those other ones, like Billy Corgan and uh, mm-hmm. Jimmy Page and some of those other ones. Um, Jack White, he is tall as fuck too. Man. Really? Oh, oh yeah. I remember many years before White Stripes even um, made it big, they, I saw him in a place. He actually had to, like, duck down to get into a doorway. Oh, so, I had so to he, do that a couple times. Yeah. yeah, so he's around the two of your heights. Yeah, so, yeah. Trixie's had a lower ceiling, for sure. I was kind of worried about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I couldn't go like this at any moment. Uh, <laughs> they wouldn't let me do it. So, you, so your heads are still intact after that, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> I can't jump anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we should get back to the music, I guess. Right, yeah. I think that's why we're here. This one, I believe, will be, uh, it's like two songs. Yeah, this will be the two. Let's do three. Okay. Well, how many do you have left? How many do we have left? One, uh, two, three, five. four, five, five, six. So we have the other one, right? 
if, uh, we, if we are doing yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Uh, if you've got that many, you can do three in a row if that works for okay. you. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. We could do like, I'm cool with that. Do it AST and then MT. Let's, let's and then Boulder. Oh, okay. But we definitely want to remind people after Boulder. All right, I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> Something in the water that can clear my mind. I hope the electric current takes me to my shrine. Ripples of the brain mimic rippling ties. A brightest time dreaming on a dreamy vine. Oh yeah! And all the bodies swim free. Oh yeah! And let the bodies swim free.
All right. So, besides working titles, would any of those have names? So the first song is, qua is called uh, Aquatic Shock Treatment. Okay. And it's the first uh, song we ever wrote, actually. Yeah. As a... Uh, yeah, as a band as fully, yeah. Okay. Well, they came up with the whole instrumentation, and mm -hmm. then I came in and... Had the lyrics? Yeah, that was the slapped first some shitty lyrics on that. That was oh. the first one you wrote lyrics to, right? Yeah. That was, yeah, that was the first one. That was our, I kind of auditioned with that song. Where and did the title and the lyrics come from? Well, I have a friend that works in a, um, a mental or a mental hospital, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and she said the power went out in her uh, mental hospital, and all these uh, patients were running around kind of in the dark. And then I started talking about, or I started thinking about, I don't know, water and electricity together, mm -hmm. and and of course kind of shock treatment. Is yeah, right along so with it. So I don't think they do that anymore. Probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shock treatment. I don't, maybe some people like it. I Actually, it does work in rare cases. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I've got a master's in clinical health psych. Really? Oh, wow. And yeah, it's, it's only used for certain people. They, they have a scientific way to figure out basically if it's going to work or not. Um, this is way before your time. You probably don't even know who I'm talking about, but there was a talk show host uh, named Dick Cabot. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've heard of him, right? He was like Jimi Hendrix. And yeah, like yeah. That. He was the man. He was yeah. cool. He was really, well, he, uh, yeah, I think he's passed now. But anyway, he was suffering from just really, really wicked clinical depression. And those were actually able to treat him. He would, uh, he didn't have to, he, it's not like something you got to do every so often. I mean, it, it took like a couple of treatments. And he said he was a new man. Huh. He, he felt like basically happy for, it's, First time, and he couldn't remember how long. He, oh. actually, he actually said to his wife, I, I want to introduce you to the new Dick Cabot, to his wife. <laughs> he felt that much better. But again, it's just a small percentage of the population. Not like before, it's like, oh, they're acting up, you know, <laughs> give them that. Because <laughs> 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 oftentimes it did damage or, you know, God knows what. But anyway, we, should, we, got, we don't got time to talk about all that. But that's an interesting um, origin for his song, though. Two things. We're gonna do one more song. We're doing this last song is called Infernum. But before that, we had another song called Empty Street. You can find that on Spotify as well as Aquatic Shock Treatment. And then we have the other song we played after that was called Boulder. It's coming out tonight, midnight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time for a scotch. All right. Well, I'm gonna sign off now. So Jason, Neil, you, you said you have one or two. Um, two we songs. Could do Infernum, the new song. We still haven't done the yes. Don't have to do that. It's no, entirely up to you. It's your call. Yeah. I'm okay with Just do the last two. You do the last two? Inferno? Inferno? Okay. Inferno first or... We can just play Inferno as the last one and be done if you want. It, it's I'll your do, call. I don't mind doing the You can do too. both. You could do either. Yeah, we can do the new one. Okay. What do you guys want? All right. So Jason, Neil, John, Kyle, thank you so much. Appreciate it. I enjoyed it. And thank uh, you, Thanks for having us. And we'll see you next time. One more time, it's King Norman.
it's a bad dream don't wake me if it's a bad dream don't wake me Can do it already. <laughs> All right. And now the encore. Ha, ha, ha. 